Hey guys, and welcome back to Tube. Now it's fall, that magical time of year with leggings, pumpkin spice lattes, and of course, a new iPhone. No one makes this iPhone better than the one you may already have. Unfortunately, it's not a headphone jack, but there is a new A11 Bionic chip, wireless charging, fast charging, and true tone display. Now, the A11 Bionic chip has a whopping six cores inside of it and a Geekbench score of over 10,000. It's over 9,000! What? Just to put that in perspective for you, that is more than double the processing power of an iPhone 7 and, and more powerful than some of Apple's current MacBook lineup. Now, Apple has finally made the iPhone Qi compatible and Quick Charge 3.0 compatible. Fortunately, you won't get these features straight out of the box. You're going to have to buy a USB Type C to lightning adapter and a USB Type-C power brick, but for anyone that wants to drop down that extra coin, the functionality is there for you. Now, probably my favorite feature of the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus is the True Tone display, which reads the ambient lighting around you and adjusts the color temperature and brightness of the screen to make a truer color regardless of where you're at. Now, one of the cool features that the iPhone 8 Plus has is a new portrait lighting mode, which improves on last year's portrait mode. Not only can you focus on your subject, but you can also adjust the lighting that's on them if you're in a darker situation or an overexposed situation. You can make the lighting on your subject better and get a useful phone where you probably wouldn't have had one before. Now here's the part where you're probably gonna ask me, why would I get an iPhone 8 when the iPhone 10 is gonna come out in less than a month? The best way to look at that is the iPhone X, the iPhone 10, is a new product meant for consumers that want a different experience. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are for all you guys that love your phone now but want a little bit more out of it and a few more bells and whistles. Now, if you have an iPhone 6 or 6S, it is time to upgrade. The A11 Bionic chip is vastly superior to the A8 and A9 chips, and the True Tone display is so much better than the regular Retina display. Now, if you're an iPhone 7 user and you don't care about wireless charging or quick charging, I would say stick with what you got. Wait till next year, or if you're interested in the iPhone 10, go out and get that. Now, are you planning on picking up an iPhone 8, keeping what you got, or waiting for the iPhone 10? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, I will see you in the next video.